Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from the Software University, SoftUni. I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this episode, I will mention Linux and operating systems in the world of software development. Developers should understand the basic concepts of operating systems, working with processes, managing users and permissions, and working with the file system, using files, uh, managing input and output from console processes, and working with the Linux console. In this lesson, I will explain what the Linux shell is and will demonstrate with live coding how to use some basic Linux commands. As usually, I will demonstrate working, working with the Linux shell in a live demo and you will be able also to play uh, with my example because it's online to write some Linux commands and get familiar with the Linux console. Let's start! Working with operating systems, Linux, Windows, Mac OS uh, and others is important skill for software engineers. Developers should understand the basic concepts of operating system systems and how processes, users, file system, the input and output, and the console work. Linux is the most important operating system for software developers. Every software developer should be familiar with the basic Linux console commands. Other important Linux skills are installation, configuration, and basic administration of uh, Linux environments, installing and configuring software uh, from the Linux shell, process management, working with the uh, file system, uh, configuring users and permissions, and managing services and others. Developers need all these skills when they install, manage, and troubleshoot production software hosted in Linux environment or in Linux-based containers. Sooner or later, you will need to configure and manage the execution environment, so find a way to learn the Linux basics. These are sample Linux shell commands, just to illustrate what the Linux console is and what a Linux shell is. I will first start the Linux shell. I have an Ubuntu Linux uh, on my laptop. Uh, this is the Linux shell. I can write comments here, like pwd. Uh, it shows the current directory or the who am I comment, uh, it shows the current user, or the echo comment, which prints a message, for example, echo, uh, hello, Linux, shell. Now, let's create a file. This comment uh, is cut uh, greater than hello.txt This command creates a file named hello.txt in the current directory then you can type some text and press enter some text and more text Finally press Ctrl plus G to save the file and stop the cat command. Now we have the file hello.txt. We can list the files in the current directory by the column ls-l. This is the file we created a moment ago. Now we want to rename the file. We shall use the following column.
m m v hello dot txt welcome dot txt these commands move the file hello dot txt into a new location into a file name welcome dot txt the result is that the file changes its names we can list again the files in the current directory and now we can see the new file named welcome.txt let's view what's inside this file we use the command cat cat welcome.txt I can use the tab key to auto complete the current show command this command will display the content of the file welcome.txt from the current directory please do not try to learn the commands mentioned Instead, try to understand the concept of Linux console as a command-based tool for managing the operating system, the file system, processes, and other objects in the OS. If you want to play with Linux commands yourself, you can follow the link path. As usually, it takes time to load. Uh, this is a shell script stored in a file main.sh. The script holds a sequence of Linux shell commands. Uh, we can run the script and see the output. It prints some text. Then writes some text in a file. Then displays the content of the file, then displays some information. In the current machine, using the command uname hyphen a the current user using who am i and the active uh, processes in the operating system using ps please don't try to understand everything Instead, focus on the concept of Linux shell and shell commands. They are important in software development. The Linux shell allows to control the operating system through commands executed in interactive mode. Shell scripts consist of sequences of shell commands like programs in programming and are used to automate some tasks. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now softuni.org.